Hello everybody, it is me, Ice Storm here, and I am sorry that uh, I haven't uploaded. Um, I've been busy installing my new motherboard for the Dell Latitude E6420. Um, so as I was trying to install it, I realized that the motherboard was not going to fit fully in place. So when I finished installing it, it left like a gap where like there's like a little hole where you can literally just slip your hand in and like touch like the components inside but the thing is the computer still worked it was just that yeah it just had that big gap right there so my keyboard was not completely fat it was like popping up so I was like uh, I wonder if this is gonna work uh, turns out it did work um, but it was kind of weird and I had to be very careful because I, I could have ruined something or made something on snap but anywho um, the NVIDIA motherboard uh, so every time I would launch my computer and try playing a 3D game, the computer would overheat and turn off. The reason for that is because of my heat sink. So this computer originally came with the integrated Intel graphics. So it only came with the heat sink for the CPU. So I would have to buy a heat sink for the CPU and GPU. So yeah, so I won't be placing this motherboard anytime soon until I get that done. But with that out of the way, so, um, in my old videos, so if you have noticed that there was like stuttering happening a lot in my videos, even though my frames were perfectly fine, it was because my, um, my GPU was overheating. So this is the problem. So when I was taking it, my laptop apart, I noticed that the GPU, well, the CPU, the, uh, the, um, thermal pace was all dried up. Like it hasn't been paced for quite some time. So after I reapplied, um, thermal pace to it computer it just it was much faster no stuttering like it was just staying at a steady frame rate where it won't like stutter and then go back up it, it won't do that temperatures when i was gaming with csgo stayed around 80 80 to like 85 i think like around that range so wasn't in the 90s anymore and also when recording so um since my video editor my windows movie maker it isn't working due to me exchanging my motherboard. So because of that, yeah, so I won't be able to edit this video. So I'm going to have to show you clips of my video. So starting with this clip right here, you guys can see that the frame rate is staying at at least like around 22 right now, 30, going up to 40. And if you pay attention to the GB usage, it's staying around at 70 to 80. And it did drop a tad bit, but that one went to like 69. So the usage is now finally normal. It's not going down to 10%, 20%. It's staying around that usage. Now the CPU, you can tell, is being used to the fullest. It can be that maxed out 100%. That's because of my recording software. So since I'm using OBS to record and play CSGO, which is a CPU game, it's causing it to max out. So that's the reason for that. So, kind of the reason for the low frame rates right now is because the game relies on the CPU more than the CPU. So as we keep on going through, the frame rate you can tell is staying like around 20 um, when you're outside of this map. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure if it's like optimization problems or it's just like the how my game performs on the setup of my recording. So see that it's going in going out and that the frame rate no no stuttering it's just staying perfectly fine you know we we'll go to one area it's 30 frames go to two area, it's 20 so yeah so let's move on to the next clip so this is going to be a video of dust 2 as you can see right here We've got dust 2 gameplay going on so Dust 2 is more optimized, so the frame rate in this one is going to be more smooth, as you can tell. So, we got like 42 frames. This GPU usage is staying around 67 to 80. CPU usage max at 100%. Temperature, you see that we're staying at 82 degrees. So, no overheating off. So, that's going to solve the thermal pace. Hey guys, Vsauce here. So yes, the frame rates does depend on the location, like map-wise. So since Dust 2 is pretty well optimized, I had a smooth experience kind of playing this. So, uh, around that, uh, it 
does drop a tad bit, but goes back up. Now I just the video. You know, everything's going normal. CPU usage always being maxed out. GPU staying normal. Keep going through. See that? So, yeah. So, I noticed that I've been doing a lot of CSGO videos, so I wanted to do a 7, day, uh, seven Days of Die. So, I'm going to show some gameplay right here. So, you guys can see that 7 Days to Die is very unoptimized, and even people have problems running it on high settings. So, um, if you watched my last video, which is the 7 Days to Die tutorial on how to make the game look completely, utterly crap. So, and also I did tennis on that. So, you guys notice how, like, there was stuttering in the game. Um, so, in with this right now, stuttering is less. But since I'm recording and the game's unoptimized, um, it does stutter. So it, it's not like when I'm standing still doing nothing and my game's like going down and up. This time, it's actually like having a good experience. Um, there are bugs in the game because I'm playing on an old world and I'm playing on the experimental um, version. So that house there, yeah, that house is kind of bugged out due to that. And so is the world itself. It's completely bugged out because of the update. So, yeah, that's why um, I should play on a new world, but I'm not playing on this. This is just my test video right now, so it doesn't matter. So, you guys can see that the GPU, it's being completely maxed out, and it's going down to 92 or 87. So, yes, it's all right there. And temperature is staying around 80, and CPU usage is around 80 since um, this game is more of a GPU hog than a CPU. So, as you guys can see... The CPU usage is completely free, and my GPU is completely maxed out. Frame rates you see here is um what you see. Um, it doesn't go down to like 10 um, as much. It goes to like 20 when I'm like walking around, running around with it loading. So yeah. So you guys can see that I'm trying to beat this freaking hawk down. But any anywho um so. Yeah, the uh, Intel 3000 graphics is running much better. And so, you guys can see right here, frame rates still going completely fine. So, as you guys saw there, that was the uh, end of that. So, furthermore, so if you guys are having overheating issues or like game stuttering problems, it could be that um, the thermal pacing has worn off and it's really dried up and needs to be reapplied. Especially if you're playing with a laptop that can be open, you definitely want to re reapply that. If that's the problem, you like you tried everything, lower down your settings, um, you know, lower resolution, try tweaks, configs, um, or cap the frame rate. If I mean, like, just make sure you monitor your temperature because as I'm gaming, I notice that my temperatures are now around 80. And if you guys remember watching my old YouTube videos of me playing CSGO Competitive, my temperatures went up to 90 when I'm recording. So that frontal pacing really got the job done. And I recommend um, Server Arctic 5, um, Arctic Server 5, I think it's what it's called. Um, I have a little bit of a tube left, which I'm going to use for when I move my CPU to my... Um, CPU to the NVIDIA motherboard and also use it for my um, NVIDIA graphics card which is going to be on the new motherboard so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm sorry that I wasn't able to edit this video but uh, every time I try opening um, Windows Movie Maker this is what I get sorry Movie Maker cannot start make sure your computer meets the minimum requirements I'm pretty sure it had something to do with me changing the motherboards and now it just doesn't know if uh, it doesn't know if my um what, what graphics card I have or my drivers it just doesn't know which one to use so that's the reason for that so I won't be recording for a while until I get my new setup ready to go meaning my Nvidia motherboard tear down of this laptop so once I get that going I'll be recording once again so yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed this video like this video if you did and sub to the channel if you haven't to get updates on what's going on and also to get to watch some of my gameplay videos and CSGO competitive videos. Well guys, have a nice day. Ice Storm out.